Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alpha Wolf uh, 29 DQL. We'll get started up front here. It does come with the power tongue jack with the LED light up front to help you hook up if it's nighttime. Directly behind that we have two 20 pound LP tanks and those will be filled by the Outpost RV. Also notice the quick access lid here that you could just reach in and turn those bottles on and off. Up front, we have the blue accent lights on the cap, as well as this is a fully um, a fiberglass cap that is molded for extra protection there. And your diamond rock guard, your, I'm sorry, your diamond plate rock guard up front here. As we move around to the side, it is ready for solar panel. So you can put a portable solar panel on the ground there, plug it in here and keep your batteries charged up if you're boondocking or dry camping. And then moving, a little bit further around, you'll notice we do have the full pass-through storage. So you can fit lots of items in there and the power cord does come with the camper. We do have power jacks on the camper and this is your switch to run those up and down. Typically how those work, one leg will come down a little bit quicker than the other one and then the other one will catch up and they will equal out in pressure and those are stabilizer jacks. We are pet, pet friendly with the Alpha Wolf. And also I'd like to point out the very large 20 foot awning. Uh, lots of great coverage with this. It does cover both entrance doors, which is pretty unique as well. And that is a powered awning. On both sets of entrance steps here, we have the sturdy steps where all the weight goes to the ground instead of to the camper as you're walking in and out. So it keeps the camper from uh, bouncing as you're getting in and out. Right here, we have our outside entertainment center, the blue LED lights here. Those are speakers, so you have outdoor speakers and inside speakers, and then your TV connections, and this is the same TV bracket that's on the inside, so you simply pull your TV up, take it out here, and slide it right in. Moving back a little bit further, we have your black tank flush, so when you're finished camping for the weekend, you can hook up your garden hose there, turn it on, and that will blast out your black tank and get it cleaned out. We do have the upgraded aluminum rims. The center cap is removed as you can see, it has the quick, easy lube axles. And then right here is a tire pressure monitoring system. So if that gets low on air, the side will turn red. And I'm gonna unscrew it and show you here. So that would mean that you're low on air. So you can just walk around and do a visual check when you're done camping or before you're taken off to your next destination. Oversized grab handle here. And all of the doors are with the friction hinge on them. So no more door latches here and they would both have screen doors as well. So we'll get a lot of great natural sunlight and airflow inside with those. In the back here, with the blue cap, you'll notice there is an LP quick disconnect. So if you have a gas grill, you can take that with you and plug it in right there and use the LP on the camper instead of bringing a separate bottle. And back here, we do have an outside shower. It has hot and cold water, and it also comes with like a coil spray hose that will pull out there. Your four inch tube bumper, this is where you would store your sewer hose in the back. Spare tire is included. And then at the very top in the middle there, you'll notice the black box. Um, that is pre-wired for an observation camera. You could add that at any point in time and that would allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're going down the road and while you're backing up. We do have a six gallon DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition and it is gas and electric. The electric switch is on the outside here and the gas switch is on the inside, which I'll show you in just a little bit. If you're running it with just gas or electric, you can get up to 10 gallons of hot water. And if you run them both together, you can get up to 16 gallons of hot water. It does come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. The camper is a 30 amp unit. Your cable and satellite hookups are down here. And then over to the left is your water fill station. The top one is for your fresh water tank. You would use a water hose to fill up the water tank on the camper and use the water pump to utilize that water if you're dry camping or boondocking. And directly underneath that is your city water fill. And that's where you would put your water hose up there if you're at a campground and that just pressurizes the lines. Got some great storage here on the off door side. And as we move around in front of the slide room here, up front, we do have your dumps. So for your wastewater and your black tank would be dumped right there. 
And then we just have the other side of the pass-through storage. And I believe that concludes the outside of the Alpha Wolf 29DQL. And now we'll move to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice that 29DQ, the DQ stands for double queen. And it does have two queen beds in here. The one is going to be in the very back as you walk in. So I will show you this one here. It has a nice sliding barn door to get into the bedroom area. Above the bed with some real nice cabinets up there. And then you do have the side over here. And then in the very back, you have some storage back here in the corner. And the window in the very back area. And I'm gonna spin around and try and give you guys an overview of the whole camper here. Got the nice super slide there. Entertainment center, and as we spin around to the kitchen area here. And this is kind of the main living quarters. We'll get started right over here as you walk in, just to the right of the door is the main control panel. That's where you're gonna control all of your lights, the gas side water heater, your water pump, and the awning as well. That is your stereo. It is AM, FM, Bluetooth compatible. And it's also a DVD player. Got your microwave and cabinets up top there. Down below that, you have a three burner stove. It does have the glass prep space there. So if you're not cooking, you can use that as prep space. You, and it does come with an oven as well. A high rise faucet. We do have the farm sink here. I'll open that and show you. Nice big single bowl. And then down below on the counter, we do have some drawers on the bottom right side and then a nice door underneath the sink. Down below the refrigerator is your breakers and fuses and your carbon monoxide detector. And then we have this nice eight cubic refrigerator freezer double door there. The pantry that has the frosted glass that says pantry etched in there gives it a very nice home feeling in here. Kind of just changes the dynamics of the kitchen a little bit. And with also some great shelves in there. Right here is the entertainment center. That would be the same bracket that is outside where you could just slide this TV off and take it outside. And your connections are going to be up on the ceiling. As we move into the bathroom area, you'll notice it does have a very functional sink here. Nice and large. Above that is a medicine cabinet in the corner so you get lots of great space there too and you also have a cabinet underneath the sink i'll spin around and show you guys the shower area it has a large stand-up shower there with a shower pan and the toilet at an angle and there's also an entrance door here in the bathroom so that way if you need quick access or if you have kids with you they can come right in and also to point out the skylight above the tub for extra headroom. And we have the three speed high power vent fan in the bathroom as well. We'll move down the hallway into the front bedroom. Up front, you're greeted with another queen bed. You have cabinets up top and his and hers hanging storage on either side of the bed. You also have 110 outlets and 12 volt outlets on both sides of the bed. And then at the very end of the bed, you also have another TV connection in here where you could hang up another TV. Back here in the slide room, we do have a jackknife sofa and the U-shaped dinette. The jackknife sofa will lay flat like a futon for extra sleeping and would also have some great storage underneath it. And the U-shaped dinette, you could sit six people here comfortably, and that also turns into another sleeping area. If you look at our pictures online, you'll be able to see that. And then the storage drawers down below are full-length full storage drawers on both sides, so lots of great storage there. And I believe that concludes our Alpha Wolf 29DQL. <coughs> Excuse me, thank you for watching. And feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you and have a great day.